Hello and welcome to part 5 here at Group E. We're not even halfway through. The Europa League with 12 groups. Yes, yeah, it's a lot of teams. And what I like, it's a lot of teams from all over Europe. The Champions League is, I think, not by far spread out, especially now with the new regulations. So for that reason, I like it. I'm wearing England. Uh, Arsenal is in this group. I was thinking of getting the Arsenal shirt down, but then what do I put up? Another Chelsea shirt? When it's just two teams that, that I didn't like. Um, and so it's a compromise. England, although when I look now at the opponents, I could have put Portugal too. Probably I should have. Too late. Let's go ahead with the jersey and we'll start, of course, with Arsenal, which we saw already in my Premier League review. I think it was my first, one of the first jerseys that I reviewed. And I already said back then, the Arsenal Puma home shirt just does not look right. I think Puma has yet to get an Arsenal jersey really right. It's okay. We have the red base, we have the white sleeves, but you shouldn't have white shoulders. That is what doesn't look like Arsenal to me. Also this weird, um, you know, square pattern here. And then you have, of course, the red armbands, which look like captain's armbands. So didn't like that. The sponsor will be small in Europa League play. You see here the line of the Premier League, of course. So that's not gonna fly as well. Overall, I think it's a disappointing Arsenal shirt and I gave this only three stars. However, I liked a lot the uh, home jersey, uh, not the home jersey, the away jersey, uh, with the navy blue and the slight red in there. Uh, it's maybe a little bit too plain. If the red could feature a little bit more, um, you know, it could be a little, a little bit more, but overall this I really, really like. Uh, the only reason why I don't give it really full marks is because Arsenal should have yellow away jerseys old-fashioned and yeah but as far as Puma jerseys goes these are really good I think I gave this seven I'm looking it up against seven I actually think this is too far an upgrade I want to give this eight it's really really nice overall I like it this is one that I could could imagine to get with my Arsenal jersey here and what I really don't like is the away jersey the best thing about it is the template but everything else doesn't scream Arsenal to me this is just a uh, mint green with navy blue, monochromatic crest, boring to look at. Uh, it would fit right in with boring, boring, boring Arsenal chants that have been going around. Although now, <laughs> after the Wenger years, no one says boring Arsenal anymore. But yeah, uh, it's just not right, honestly. I stick with my two stars here. And now that we're out of England, we're gonna go straight to Portugal to Sporting, uh, and this is another nice Macron creation. I already see it has a green back, which I will not like a lot. But other than that, this is a really nice Sporting jersey. Uh, the hoops, similar to Celtic, uh, very nicely done. You have the collar, which is looks a little bit odd there because it um, you know, breaks up the upper green band. I like how this the, the Club crest is over the green band, although I think it's a little bit riding high. Um, and probably the sponsor could be a little bit lower, but since it's so high up, it needed to break a green band almost. I love that the sleeve stars are almost connecting to the hoops. Uh, could be a tad better, but I think it's quite nice that they are already the stripes. Maybe the sleeve cups are a little bit uh, weird. But overall, I think it's a really nice jersey. Another fine Macron creation. I'm gonna give this easily eight stars. Um, also, the away jersey is not as exciting. Uh, there is some pattern on there, which is almost like this Adidas uh, template, the new one with all the squares. This is similar to that, but it's Macron. Um, it makes sense to have it black. The shade of green is maybe a little bit too bright, but then again, um, you wanna have it pop. A little bit more a monochromatic crest yeah I like I like it better if it would be full color but it doesn't seem too bad overall it's very cohesive I just the black is maybe a little bit too much of a dark gray that's what uh, turns me off a little bit and for that I'm only gonna, gonna give this six stars but over over it's again uh, nice shirt and sporting has a really nice set um, for the Europa League. And then we're gonna go to Far East, uh, to Aktam Karabakh from, I think, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani uh, 
champions, which the first time I heard about them is when they played Salzburg a, few, a couple of years ago in the qualification. Uh, they play in all black. It's very boring, almost Rosenborg-like. And I wonder, because if you look at their crest, it's actually quite full with color. So, I mean, yeah, they're the black horses, and maybe from there they get it. Um, an all black kit can look really nice. Uh, and I think this one does. I'm not sure about the pink striping around the arm. But other than that, you know, it's a very plain kit overall. Uh, but it fits well, even with the sponsor on there. So, for that reason, it's not the greatest kit, but I'm going to give this seven stars. And, you know, the away kit is just an inversion of it, except that the crest is not popping as much. Um, nothing bad, but also not great. Uh, so I'm also going to give this seven stars. Um, pick some like white better. I think white is better for a soccer game, but black, I think, is also great. And then the last one is a team that up until I saw them in the draw, I have not heard Worskla from Poltava in Ukraine. Um, and we can say similar things. Adidas made a plain white home jersey for them. Uh, I'm again wondering because the crest is, has very nice colors in red, white, green, a little bit yellow thrown in there. Why do we have an uh, entirely white jersey? That's what I don't get. Uh, and then there's no accents from Adidas. The stripes, I think, are also in white. I mean, this is just plain, 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 plain. Boring. Five stars. Yeah. I don't want to give uh, less, but I don't want to give more. This I stay with five stars here. Uh, the away jersey I like actually better. <laughs> Again, it's the template, but it makes a little bit more use of the club's colors. I mean, at least there's green there. The light green we can discuss. Maybe it should have been yellow, could have been red even. Although that might be a little bit stark, I guess. Um, I think it overall looks nice. But this is one time where this pattern, you know, this pattern we see it over and over again and it becomes a little bit boring, but I think here it works. I'm not sure about the accent color. Maybe we could have chosen something differently here. Um, I think a yellow would have looked uh, great here. But other than that, I think this looks all right. Um, I gave this gave the previous one five. I think I want to give here seven. I think it's a nice looking kit. Well, I think we ran quite fast through all these kits, but you know, we looked at Arsenal already. I had to say a few things about Sporting and the other two kits. There wasn't much to say. Really not. Let me know if you can say more, uh, whether ones you, which ones you liked, which ones you dislike. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And tomorrow we're going to look at Group F with my favorite team in there. I don't think they will win the competition though, unfortunately. Until then, bye.